following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Today on Relationship Status, we discuss imposter syndrome, dating imposters. Should we just expect people to be who they are? We share some of our own personal stories and defense mechanisms, not lying to yourself, and maybe not compromising. And maybe we can get Yousef to change a little bit today on Relationship Status. Welcome back to Relationship Status. It's your girl, Neek Cruz. C.L. Butler. And your boy, Yousef in the building. And remember, you can catch us on iTunes, Google Play, uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and of course, to fivelifepods.com. How's everyone doing today? Great. Just peachy. Just Me? peachy? Just peachy. Mm. Did you know the McRib was back? Did you know yeah. the McRib is back? <laughs> Man, yeah. That, I might go grab one of them. That's some nasty work, the McRib. <laughs> when they first came out, I was working at McDonald's. Well, really? You, so well, you're a was, McRib was, fan? I was devouring them things. Wow. They, was, they was good. What did, what did they taste like? They taste. They they. Actually Do they taste, used to taste like ribs back in the day? Like, they, they taste like a rib, so to speak. Of I don't sorts. know. I, I don't. I've never had one. It I, tastes like. It actually tastes like. Uh, I haven't had pork since the eighties. Like a so rib. I don't even know. Really? Yeah. I, I learned something new today. A long time. I haven't mm-hmm. eaten pork in a while. Save that if for later, Nate. If mm-hmm. even if that's pork, could be cardboard. Could be car- It could be. Could be. It could be cat. Could be dog. Could be. <sighs> wow. Hey, I mean, I mean, cat and dog. They are animals. They are. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. We don't, you know. <laughs> you know, if ever we needed to survive and there was no food around, who's the first to go? Okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, me. That's what you're thinking? You are, you are uh, she, she, a prepper? <laughs> No, I'm not. Okay, you're not a prepper. Okay, no, I'm not. dogs. She got extra dogs and cats. Extra dogs and cats. <laughs> but <laughs> if it came down to it, you know. Hey. You would eat a cat. No rabbit, no deer first. Just I, whatever could come cat up. Dog. Hey. No, you said cats and dogs. Very <laughs> straight to cats and dogs. No, I'm just saying, y'all said cat dogs. Yeah. So I was like, hey, you know. No, you animals. said cat dogs. Yeah, you went straight to cats and dogs. I've had rabbit before. You okay. ate rabbit? Yeah, yeah. I've you had rabbit, rabbit deer. Oh no. Um, okay. Duck. Yeah. Possum. Possum? Yeah. I don't know about no possums. Now. You had yeah. possum? Yeah. Shit. Okay. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> wow, you was wilding two days. Wow. I'm chained. Wow. Now, now stop You're myself. You're really serious about that, McRib. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How you stop yourself after you said words? No, I, yeah, I was in the <laughs> middle of the word of the week, too. No, I was in the middle of the whole word. was like, oh, I almost cursed. And you cursed. Like, he did. You cursed, cursed. I was like, no, I didn't. I didn't say yeah, that. I didn't yeah. drop the F bomb. No. That's the only curse word? That's the dramatic one. That's the one that doesn't slip. That's an intentional curse word. Okay. Sometimes it does slip. But no. you said the curse word the was F-bar? like, I'm not going to curse. <laughs> After you said the word. You know what I said? My bad for cursing. No, you said I'm not. Uh, almost curse is what you d- Do you know this is recorded? I'm going to have to go back yeah, and listen. Yeah, please listen. I'm going to have to go listen. back and listen again. Please listen. You know I- we're getting close to trick or treat? Yay. You ready? Trick or treating? Trick or treating? Yeah. Halloweening? Mm-hmm. Who? Okay. What what person would you let's say if you could be if, if you were not going to be a character not going to be a character which one would it not be like what who you would mean? you not be like if you it, oh if I could if I did dress up who would I not be yeah um I don't know Wesley Snipes I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that somebody who had a, uh had the Wesley uh what was, Wesley Snipes what was his name in like uh, Blade Wesley Snipes I don't know not Blade that's what I was thinking not Blade uh. What's the one from uh, New Jack tri- City? Okay, you could do New Jack City. Uh, Nino Brown. Nino Brown. Nino Brown. Yeah. And they, Nino had a, Brown. they had a stuffed dog. Okay, like on Martin. That, that's, <laughs> a great episode. that's a great episode of Martin. <laughs> I haven't seen that. Uh, you haven't C- seen it? About I the did, CD player? I did not watch Martin. Man. Pull your black card. I hated that yeah. show. <laughs> Pull your black show. card. I tried. I just hated it. Now that's oh. a classic one about the CD yeah. player. Yes. Ooh. That's a classic one. <laughs> I have... The whole collection. Yeah, okay. about ten. Yeah, no. You need to watch. I don't really like to watch it now, but really, I, I was a little nostalgic. But it's you know, I like it. You like it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think I wouldn't want to be a oompa loompa. 
Why not, Nick? <laughs> Why you not? know what? Why not? The Why energy you? today is just. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to be a Oompa Loompa? Because I'm small. You're small. <laughs> you was never in a play being small? No, I wasn't. Okay. I wouldn't mm. allow it. You, sir? Who would you not want to be? Um, after listening to the DJ Blaze radio show, mm-hmm. uh, Cuba Gooden Jr. Yeah, yeah. He's wilding. He's wilding. Yeah, a little he, bit. Well, is he? It was old. No, but. it's old, but it's, it's he's wilding. <laughs> he definitely wilding. He was wilding. But anyway, yeah. it's Halloween. See? Halloween. Mm-hmm. Where are we headed, see? Where are we headed? To the top? To the top. Aren't to we over one million top? downloads? No. Are we at one million? We're. No, we're over 10,000. 10,000, okay. We're over 10,000. I knew it was a number with a one in it. Yeah, we're over 10,000. <laughs> so it's not a million. With a lot of, with a comma? Yeah, yeah we're over 10,000. It's not a million. <clears throat> when we get to a milli. Okay. We're going to play a milli, a milli, a milli, a milli. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You Whoa, know what? Huh? He's wild today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he definitely yeah. has a lot of energy. Yo, yeah. I, I had a really good day. Today? Yeah, man. That's good. I don't, I don't. Try, I try not to believe in bad days, mm-hmm. but I had a really good day today. Okay. Nobody has bad days. They're just days that didn't go your way. Oh. Well. I wouldn't say days that didn't go your way. I just think You, you got to have like a tagline. Some days line. are more challenging than others. You got to have a tagline when you like meet people so you let them know you're having a day. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm blessed and highly favored. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's having a bad day. <laughs> like, okay, buddy. <laughs> like, how are you doing? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Blessed. I think mine would be, when people ask me, how's it going? I go, eh, it's going somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where, but right now, wow. but it's going somewhere. I just say I'm here. You're here? Yeah. I don't sound very optimistic. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on mine. You're working on yours? I'm working on it. I'm working. I got some things in the bag. But I'm, <laughs> I'm going to release them one day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, save yeah. it for the uh, the CL episode. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get started. Yeah. We're go- <laughs> We're going to talk about imposters. Imposters? Yes. I thought it was imposter syndrome, but it's actually... Maybe it is imposter no, syndrome. Syndrome is a imposter, little. Well, imposter syndrome is actually a thing. It's a thing, but it's not. It's just <laughs> imposterization. I don't, I don't know. Impos- well, <laughs> according to um, the internet, imposter syndrome <laughs> can be defined as a collection of inadequacies uh-huh. that persist despite evident success. Imposters suffer from chronic self doubt mm-hmm. and a sense of into. My, my handwriting suck. That's all right. My That's intellectual all right. fraudulence. That override any feelings of success or external proof of their competence. Okay. Fear that the world is going to find us out. Yes. But we are going to relate this to relationships. relationships yeah. Yes. So, has anybody in here dated an imposter? Oh, yeah. You yes, have? Yes, of today. course. Care to tell? You dated a girl yes yesterday? <laughs> Yikes. Oh, please do Yikes. tell. Oh, my God. Jeez, a joke. Oh, no, look at I, this. Tough. It's a joke? It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke that's coming close to home, brother. <laughs> yesterday? Wow. Wow. I, I, I don't know if, uh, think, Neek? Of course. You've dated an imposter? You got course. Oh, yeah, definitely. You have? Yeah. Women are imposters? Oh, the women are the biggest imposters. Oh, wow. Now, we all, we all got a couple of minutes here. You want to tell us how? Because yeah. I think we yeah. all have a story. We, we all have a story. Yeah. Um, or an example. Well, let's go like this. Okay. An example. Okay. I think women are imposters in this sense. Okay. Um, you Let's say you take the time to show yourself. You, to show yourself? Yeah, like you be your true you. So you being 100. 100. Okay. All right? I'm mm-hmm. being 100. This okay. is all me. Okay. All right? Going all in, being myself. And they take it in mm-hmm. and they go, hey, look, you know what? I that's this is I am agreeing to what you're giving to what you're showing me. OK. OK. So they're signing am, up for that package. I'm signing up for this package. Your mm-hmm. package is this, 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 this. You don't do this. You don't do that. OK. But you do this. You do this. This is the package I'm buying. All right. Then they get the package. OK. After some time passes, they realize they go, well, this ain't what I signed up for. But, but you didn't. Okay, now you didn't tell him it was going to be permanent. You People gotta, change. You gotta. You have to change. You have to evolve. No, I think you, you gotta, gotta redefine the of your contract Listen, too. Evolving and changing is two different things. I they think. are, but you have to do yes. both. I don't think you have to do both. Okay. All right. No, but I'm, Nick, no, you but, want me to go? No, yeah, you can no, go ahead. And go yeah. Yeah. No, wait, no, think about it now. If if I'm tell if, if I'm being real and I'm being hundred about who I am and what I am. Uh huh. The the. Excuse me. The 
what is it like we could try to make me better, but there's things about the things that <clears throat> I have been quote unquote deemed guilty of mm-hmm. are things that unpack this, you sir. Okay. Unpack right. this. Okay, we're going somewhere. Things yeah. that I've been deemed guilty of is um are. working. Are. are working. Uh-huh. Working a lot. Always been a workaholic. Excuse me, I don't know what's going on. Are you getting um, tired over there? You better go. You no. lie. <laughs> no. I've been de- like I said, I've been I've been accused of working too hard and neglecting home. Okay. When you met me, I worked hard. It's what I do. Well, now you did that before you had the family or her and whatever else, dogs, cats, kids. Had had family before? Not no. But it's a different not with family. You. you were single. No, I had. No, he had a family before, and now he's going into this. So he had a family before. I don't understand. Before that family, prior to this, yeah, he's done it before. Yeah, done this. Then you should do better. Yeah, it is. It it is about you doing better, and you failed, and it failed. You have to do better. If this is who I am, this is no, it's not who you are. How is it? But people don't have to. Just because this is who you are, you're right. People do not have to accept it. But if I'm showing you who I am from the beginning, and you're signing up for it, right? Nobody moment, shows everything about them initially. At that moment, at that moment, you don't have to sign up for it. You're right. No, you don't. But let me you just say this. You can get on. But let me say this. And I'll be just fine. At- <laughs> he won't. Well, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me say this and don't take offense to it. Just because this is who you are and nobody has to. I see how you looked at him. Yeah, we didn't know where you were going. I thought you was going to drop some. Like, whoa. <laughs> no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. I'm not going to disrespect you or anything. Okay. Uh, but, yeah. um. Just because this is who you are, that doesn't mean that it's a good thing. True. No. Nah, so just I'm not, not the. Let me finish. Man. Let me finish. Just because this is who you are, and this is who they signed up for you to, you know, this is who they liked at the beginning. They still expected you to evolve. They they didn't put that in the fine print. They're not. You. Didn't That's either. why they're not there no more. Well, and I'm good. But see, nobody. Like, that's but nobody not good. wants to not be good. Because they probably they probably really wanted you, and it was like God if he would just stop doing these this. Two things? Yeah, we could be together, and you're like, I don't care. You can go if you want to. You think that's you a to bad feeling? Way? That's how. That's I mean, but that's that's but that's, that's me. T- what? But is that good? No. Is that healthy? That's not you. Is it? What do you mean? How you, wait, see, how you gonna tell me? It's I'm not telling me. you, it's not you because. That sounds it, real cold hearted. Well, he would be like that in every aspect of his life if that but was I him. Am, I am. That you're way. not. See, I am. Like you, you say you're unempathetic, right? I tell you, it's only towards women. Well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Women, he's maybe dating because he's empathetic with complete strangers. Yeah, his children. Yep. I seen a kid get hurt. You run right out there, like, oh, what's wrong? Yeah, you're you're real. So you could just be if you date me, I can't be empathetic towards you because you should be the way you are. And I think sometimes you expect women to be the way they say they are. But that's not the way they are. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if 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 you're telling me if you're if you're if you're first of I'm all, accepting... they're liars. <laughs> well, yeah. So why are you listening <laughs> to them? I'm, like, I'm, if I'm <laughs> accepting you for who you are. That doesn't mean she has to accept you for who you are. Well, then then you should have been out from the beginning. But then she is out. Doing... No, she no, no, didn't no. Know she, she didn't to... like it yet. She's yeah. out now she should have been out. No, she no, didn't know it got worse. She had, exactly. <laughs> How did it get worse? Because she probably talked. She probably talked to you about it to change it. And, like, and okay, like, I like it. I like everything. I like everything else about you, but this right here is going to be a deal breaker, or this right here could be changed. So I don't want to not talk to you or not move forward with you because of this. And you was like, well, this is the way I am, and I'm always going to be like this. Yeah, pretty much. That's how the conversation goes. That's not. That's not. Healthy. And that's not healthy. How is it not healthy for who? For her? For, for you. you? No, for me, I'm good. Then what? And okay. then, and and just as a woman, a woman doesn't want to hear that. I'm good. You can go. Like I that mean, makes else, me feel. What that, else am I that would make to me say? feel like that's that's gonna make a but woman that, feel like you never really cared. No, you don't care. How what, what she cared enough to tell you what, that something what, was wrong and she's wanting to fix it and you're no, like she's, no she's wanting to change me I no don't want to be changed but I it's think not we about all changing have to change. if you're if you're going to be in a relationship with someone else you're going to have to change some things you're going to have to compromise unless you just want to be alone forever if that's your outset then there's no need to get a woman involved ever I think at, at nobody there was, there involved was, there, was a, there was a portion of my life where I where I felt like I couldn't be alone. Yeah, but we're talking right today. And, and today, you're, sta- today, you're making this statement today. Yeah, today I'm I'm okay with being alone. 
And that's not a bad thing. That I'm really okay isn't. with being alone. No, no, but it's the fact that you... But don't get you, comfortable being alone to the where yeah, you push you everybody change. away. I'm not pushing anybody Nobody away. is going to accept if, you if the some, way you are. If, if, somebody wants to accept, <laughs> if somebody wants to accept me, then they will. If they, they can't. don't, then they won't. Who's going to sign up and say, I'm never going to change? All I say is, You this sound is like me. a serial killer. This is me. <laughs> like, this, this, That's this, not you. This is me. That's not you. That's it. This is me. You don't even know who you are. You got to take that mask off. Man, what mask I got to take off? Mask on, mask off. No. <laughs> you got to take that mask no, off, No, I'm, be, I'm being me. You're not. I think you're just trying to protect yourself. What kind of mask you think he has on? Um, What color or what kind? What kind? Because you know his color is like cream. Oh. Yes. You know, that's his thing. <laughs> uh, 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 creamy, you know, match his eyes, you know. But what type of ma- a mask of I'm going to stop you from hurting me before you even get to know me? You may not even want to hurt me, but you're not going to hurt me, so I'm not going to change. And if you can't adjust, I'm out. It's not fair to anybody. Well, I'm not. I, listen, I think, I'm not out. I huh? think he's comfortable. I'm not out. I'm fine. I'm sitting here. I no, think no, he's no. You, you're saying if I, if you have to change, you're going to be out. No, I'm going to sit here. You might leave, but because he's not going to change. I'm. But go, why I'm would good. you want someone to be miserable? I'm not asking you to be miserable. You okay. do not have to be miserable with me. What 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 I believe it is is you're comfortable. I'm you, comfortable you've with created what? no. He's created this bubble where this is who you are. This is who you're comfortable being. This is what gets you through life. Uh huh. And so therefore. You're not going to change because this is what's gotten you through maybe your worst times. I've been nonchalant. I've well, been it's, this. It's I've been that. It's self-preservation, but it's just not. You have to live with other people. I know. Okay. Because like, these people should accept. I think that if we spent more time accepting people for who they are rather than attempting. But to she did. Choose, she yeah. just she wanted exactly. to modify a few things because it's probably going to hurt the both of you in the long run of something she was probably trying to change. Would you not want her to change anything about her? I was fine. I'm fine. I'm no. You wow. Wild and big time, yeah, bro. Yeah, I don't know. That's like somebody, for instance, say for because instance, I had a, a I money issue. I, his thing, I know what I signed up for. She doesn't. But you still <laughs> You told a woman I'm never going to change. <laughs> I did not Do you love me? I'm never going to change. Nobody said no, I, I, I said you, you changed and you started to love her. Mm. Mm. You said what? You yeah, changed okay, need to start to love her. I no, how you couldn't change to, to keep her? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You, you didn't know her. Mm-hmm. Okay. So to love her, you have to change something to how, love her. How do I have to? What do I, What did I change to love her? I caught feelings. You change your feelings. Exactly. So you change. So I you didn't change, change that. You fake. You fake. You I didn't yeah. change that. Now. But I mean, you just, didn't have feelings for her before, and now you have them because that's a was, change. Because but, that's a you're but, smarter than that. Come on, now. That, come on now, come on now. You but just, that was an organic you just change. It for, no, that, that was an organic no. change. That wasn't anything. Uh, I was organic, like, oh, oh my god, change, I gotta what, love her. But uh, uh, I, I didn't have to make myself do it. But you don't have to make yourself change either. Sometimes yeah, you, you just gradually change. No, I think the word is change. It's still a change whether you put organic in front of it or not. It's still a change. But let me give you an example. If I had issues with money. Okay. And if, a man. Yeah. If. As you know. Huh. Money stack. <laughs> to tall ceiling. as Neek. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we're not going to do that. <laughs> okay, we're not going to do that. It's all hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> it's all hundreds. You got it. But if I had money issues and a man knew that from the jump, mm-hmm. I'm not going to get mad because. He's fussing at me about how I handle my money because he's trying to oh. change that about me so I would be better with money well, moving forward with him well, in life. Neek, even though you have a great example, yeah. you are right. Yeah. So I mean, you're going to be mad. Oh, yeah, I'm going to yeah, be mad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Of course. You're going to be mad, yeah. but, but you're going to understand why. <laughs> I'm going to understand why, but, but I was trying to give, be mad. I was trying to okay. give an example. Okay. But, you know, it's to better me. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And regardless of I'm okay and I'm comfortable with my money issues because I've grown accustomed to living check to check. Uh huh. He's trying to fix that so I don't have to. Mm-hmm. So even if he stays around or he doesn't, I still learn that from him and can move on with life into mm-hmm. my next relationship. Better financially stable. Yeah. Probably one of the wisest women I knew. Who? Neek? She no. is. <laughs> no? no. No. Second. <laughs> no. She's, um, she's in your top 10 now. No, okay. you don't care for me okay. too much. Okay. <laughs> One of, well, the wisest woman. <laughs> okay, the. I, I, the wisest Absolutely. Woman I've ever met. Okay. My grandmother. Okay. She said, told me a very long time ago. Mm-hmm. And I have said this on the show before. She said that if you, if a person leaves, 
Mm-hmm. They were always going to leave. The question is how long they were going to stay and what did you learn while they were here? You didn't learn nothing because you exactly. don't repeat the same so thing pushed, over and over again. You pushed them away. She you didn't say repeat this over and over. <laughs> hey, listen. That's what she, she didn't said. say she repeat didn't say it over and over. Push somebody away. I'm, I'm, I'm not pushing. I am not pushing. Yeah, well, you no, are. Your, your, your inactions are pushing people away. My inactions. Your inactions. I give. I have lots of actions. You do, but you talking about the inactions. Lots of actions. That's see. a lot of action. It's a whole lot of action. A lot of action. No progress. Yeah, but no progress. I believe a lot of progress. activity, no production. What did you learn from that relationship? What did I learn from that relationship? Yes. Um, I will say, I did learn that I do need to put my kids first. No. That's what I learned from that relationship. There's, no. That's what I learned. No. He said, that's what I learned. Yep. You're not going to tell me what I learned. learned. <laughs> you're no, you're, you're He's what? really trying to help you out here. No, no. I, I, <laughs> You know, <laughs> you shouldn't put anybody in front of you, including your kids. Well, I mean, yeah. No, besides myself. No, he's not, saying no, he no. just needs to put his kids no, first no, more no. than he does. No, he doesn't. He needs to prioritize his life. And if the kids fill in that blank, it's fine. Mm-hmm. But. Okay. If you put it that way. Yes. yes you got to prioritize. You can't just say kids to the top. Because some people's kids aren't with them. So I mean, if your kid's in California and I'm in Myrtle Beach, how can I put them first? Mm hmm. I might send them the money first, but I can't go there every weekend. True. So what you have to do is take a hard look at yourself, put yourself first, put your happiness first. Mm-hmm. And if you want a woman or man or binary sub people in your life. <laughs> We're not going to do this today. Uh, um, <laughs> if you want to people in your life, you have to make them somewhat of a priority. You do. And everything that we experience with women and Nick with guys. Or a gentleman, um, it kind of helps us become better, well rounded. Mm-hmm. And once you start being well rounded, it's easier to get along with other people. It is. Yeah, he's carrying some baggage. I'm not carrying no baggage. Yes, yeah, you are. Yeah, you got big bag. I ain't <laughs> carrying no big bag. Duffel bag, lady. Yeah, I don't have. I'm not carrying no baggage. We all carry some. I am the yeah. freest. I am probably the freest. I've, I'm. I literally feel. The freest I've ever felt. Yeah, your it feelings probably. will f up your life too. Oh, yeah, they will. See, I tell me that all the yeah, time. Get out your feelings. Okay, well, I'm, not, I'm, not feelings. <laughs> I'm just saying, like this but is the best feeling I've had in a very long you time. You may feel free, but if it makes everybody else feel caged in around you, then you're not free. Or yeah, caged See, uh, out. Yes, you're probably the one person who's most around me currently. I'm around you a lot. Do you feel caged around me? No, I just get off the phone. Okay. I just leave you alone. Like okay. you wilding right now. He, but no, See, but well, there we go. But that's not for a woman to do. Yeah, it's I gonna be different to, from I don't him. have to date you. So I could be out. <laughs> like I'm, I don't talk to you all the time. Yeah, he he don't have to spend every day with you. Yeah, he I don't have, have to children talk with to you. you. I don't have anything. Like yeah, I don't nobody gotta spend every day with me. I'm not, not got to, but me. I would I would prefer people to want to be around me. Like not be around me, that's not cool. Tell you what, this man take up all our time on the show. Neek. No, y'all, am, went, y'all took that and ran with it. I no, was, we didn't. You, y'all man. took it and ran with it. No. Don't you worry. Me, I, I told me to tell my story. Moving forward. Forever. Moving y'all forward. told me to tell my story. Mm-hmm. I told forward. my story. Okay. Here's your example. A short story. That, it was short. 19 minutes. It was story. short. But it was short. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. You, I, you supposed to go next. Um. Well, we've. We probably have to get back in prayer because we've done so much <laughs> with, with yourself. We, I lost track of mine, but I, I do have something to play off what he said. What's up? I don't. What was the question? When you get back to the, what was the question? Have we ever dated? Okay, an imposter. An imposter. Yes, I have. I've dated women who um, wanted me to believe in them more than they actually believed in themselves. They was trying to sell sell it to me as they are one thing, mm-hmm. and they know they win this thing. And whether that's trying to be tough or financially secure or I ain't going to never change, and, you know, it's the same thing. So my thing is trying to get me to buy in which for what you don't believe in. And when you don't believe it, how do you want me to believe it? True. See how I made a little short, sweet story you said? You know what I'm saying? Real mine, quick. Mine was short and sweet. Okay. <laughs> well, talk about mine. Tell, tell me what I need to do. What mask am I wearing? You're not wearing the mask. They are. Okay. Neat. Sounds like I'm right. 
Let's go. Get- <laughs> <laughs> and Yusef is right. I <laughs> uh, know I'm right. No, 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 you're not. I, I know I'm right. <laughs> I'm got a mask on. It's called a lion mask. A lion mask. Yeah, I'm lying to you right now. Why are you lying? Because I said you was right. Why are you lying? Why are you? I was right. Neek. Yes. <laughs> I'm always right. Oh, about oh, something. <laughs> really even, wild today, even, bro. Even if you're right about being wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm always right. Man. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Dear Jesus. Yeah. Take the wheel. Take the wheel, Lord. Take it off. Just take it. Just take it. Take it. <laughs> From who? Take it. Where, where? Just take control over this car. Wow, where's it going? What's wrong it's with the spinning car? right now? It's okay. Not- <laughs> so this is my story about an imposter. Um and it's a funny story. Okay. Um I dated a guy. Mm-hmm. Really cool guy. We were just dating, just talking, hung out a few times. Okay. Um he didn't live here. In town, um, he came in town for a couple of hours, and he contacted me, and I was like, okay, like he was always private, very private guy. So, me not hearing from him for a couple of days was I was used to. We were just dating here and there, friends. Okay. Um, he made it seem as if he was single. Hmm. Um, we would talk about you know how he would wanted to wait till he got married to have kids. Um, how he you know. How it was hard to find a, a woman that didn't want him for his money. Okay. All of that. Um, <laughs> hmm. And then he popped up and got married. So Two so, days later. So he was dating many women? No, he got married. He was with was, the same woman. I'm saying, was he dating you? Yeah. Wow. So he's a cheater. Yeah. And, and I didn't liar. know he got married. The only way I knew he got married is because... Um, <laughs> A co-worker of mine is his wife, now wife's cousin, and she was in a wedding. Oh, and wow. she was talking about it. And she came and she was like, yeah. And she started talking about her cousin's husband now. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, what's his name? She told me. So, so what, do you, what do you think he misrepresented himself as? Single. Single. <laughs> so. Yeah. He... he Portrayed himself to be a single man. Now, do you think that comes from a certain insecurity? Yeah. I, I believe. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not going to say he's not good looking. He's different looking. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. All right. And I think he always struggled with it. Just, just the way he carries himself is that he's always trying to be. He's always trying to but Well, it's not a bad thing trying to put your best foot forward, but. But you I, can overdo it. Yeah. You can overdo it. You know, with a Jaguar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All can, of that. You know, just it. extra stuff. Too many accessories. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to keep the public's eye. Trying so, to feel important. So so he probably, deep down inside, didn't really feel important. No, and I think having a lot of women made him feel... It kind of strokes your ego a bit? Yeah. Okay. So, I can see that happening. Yeah, he didn't love himself. He didn't love himself. Mm. He didn't allow you the opportunity to love him. Oh, I didn't care. And some, <laughs> I mean, just a, I mean you like, said, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah. You didn't care. I mean, like you didn't care now that he don't care, or you didn't care ever. I'm not gonna say I didn't care ever. It, it did kind of hurt. It did. Okay. Little but stinger. Yeah. It, it, well, and only because he lied, and it's not something he had to lie about. He could have said, "Hey, you know, I'm involved. Okay, we could just be friends, talk here and there. It's not that deep." But for you to lie to me and then get married. So you feel a little betrayed? Yeah. So Especially when I passed your wedding. So he's a, <laughs> he's a, you passed it? What do you mean? Oh, it was in a certain place. Oh, and you downtown. drove by it. Yeah. Okay. So. Strategically? No, she didn't know, right? No, I didn't know. Oh, okay. Oh, you yeah. know He called me the fact. night before. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I had no idea until. So is he like a bad guy acting as if he's a good guy? Yep. Does that, that happen with women a lot? Often. Often. Yeah. A guy always portrays he's this knight in shiny armor and, you know, he's really just an a-hole. Oh, wow. No, women run into that. Is that, like, is that common, though? Yes, that's very common. Very. They'll make you think so, they're so, this and that. So sometimes that why don't y'all just stop them and say you don't have to tell me all that? We do. You do? Mm-hmm. And he keeps going? Yep. They'd be like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Wow. 
when men walk around portraying that they have all this money. Uh huh. And they don't. Maybe he <laughs> does have the money. No, I mean, like, you walking around with big chains or all this jewelry on, and you're always posting that you're here, you're there, you're traveling. And you really so so sometimes those things tell us things about people. You think yeah. those so those people really don't have a lot of confidence. No. Sometimes what if you okay? Let's say they usually don't have money nine times out of ten. <laughs> they don't. But what if they do? They just don't spend it in that way or whatever. No, we talking about the guys come, who come off with the yeah. They come so off saying, with the no, no, money. No, no, I know what you're saying. The they leave with money. Off. I put it like that. Yeah, I'm saying they may leave with it, but what are women they do? really offended by that? I, I've heard that a few times, but I don't. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, how money? much does that? How much yeah. does that with the money? How it much does, does that play a part? It plays a part in the, eventually. In the, instant, in the eventual, when you lie to us. Okay. When you lie. Yeah. If we see it up front, we'll address it. But if you lie to us and have us thinking you have your own apartment, you have your own car, when in reality you don't even have a license, mm-hmm. that messes up. Like, it's your intake. But don't women still <laughs> like, I date can't. that guy or give him a chance? Yeah, they do. They, Some, they do. Ch- Some do. Well, I, for the most part. They'll, he, no, not you, for the most part. You'll at least let him buy you a drink, though. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Hey, okay. okay. They can, They'll go they can somewhere come out of the pocket. Okay. So, so there's a deeper seated issue in why we're wearing masks. Yeah. While we are pretending to be something we're not, mm-hmm. you, or do y'all want to blame society? Because I hear society gets blamed for a lot of stuff. Yeah. No, I, I I don't think it's society. Think it's something inside. I think it's within the person. I think the person um, decides what they, to a certain degree, there's a part about themselves they don't or they may have an issue with, mm-hmm. or something that they that bothers them about them. So they try to push that off or kind of try to not make that a part of who they are to hide that from the person. Just like we said from, you know, an imposter, mm-hmm. you know, they're, they're, they have a, it's a fear of being discovered. So yeah. I'll, let me just put this off to the side mm-hmm. so that I, I, I don't have to, I don't have to deal with it. Mm-hmm. And oh, thus, so and they pass that off their insecurities on, on other, on, on passively, mm-hmm. you know, you know, like, Hey, look, you know, like, let's say they're bad with money. So they'd have using your um, example, Neek, if they're bad with money, they would find ways Mm -hmm. to not bring that up. They would try to find ways to kind of navigate away from the fact that they're bad with money. So they may overcompensate mm-hmm. in the, in their financial status. And they say, wear a bunch of designer. Yeah, and all of this and that and blah, blah, no, blah, blah. And can't balance can't a checkbook. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, so that'll be a way of them dealing with that, you know. And they'll get defensive. Hey, oh, big time. Defensive? Very. Hmm. Now, now what, is, what are some ways we, we become defensive? Um... A lot of people not just changing. Start. <laughs> yeah, that's one not of them. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> Breakthrough. <laughs> or whatever. Some defense mechanisms, yes. maybe. Yeah, give us a few. Give us a few. Some defense mechanisms. Um, projection. Projection. Yeah. Is that uh, me on you or you yeah, on me? Yeah, that's where you project your you what blame. You said, okay. Your insecurities and issues. You on project your- them on your mate. As to the reason why they left is their fault for leaving. Yeah, so it's their fault that you didn't change. No, you no, didn't no, want no. to change. No, 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 no. We will not make this about me. <laughs> oh, okay. So you want to get away from you? <laughs> we will not make He's this about me. He's had his breakthrough. <laughs> yeah. No, no breakthrough. No breakthrough. Huh? No breakthrough. Br- Br- Just, Brother English had his breakthrough. We'll take him to the back. We'll take him to the back and let him sit down and <laughs> give him some no, like, little crackers. And, and I hate to bring you up, but that is a good example because even if it was like a woman that didn't want to change, mm-hmm. Like you know, for her to say no, why should I have to change for you? like just as a, uh, like as women like to say why do I have to change for you just because you came in my life? Oh, sh- them the ones that fall the hardest. The ones <laughs> like that. They they out of here. That's a I'm whole not changing for you. Things Man, are gonna be the way they are, do regardless of you're here or not. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you think you're not doing. It. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, so projection is where you blame the partner mm-hmm. for the flaws. That you experience in yourself. Okay. So that's projection. Uh, the next one is denial. Denial. Uh, like it didn't happen at all? Didn't happen. Uh, protecting yourself uh, representation by pretending that negative experiences never happened. Oh, wow. Never mm-hmm. happened. Never happened. 
Um, it's easier. Um, what, what do you mean? Never happened. You close your eyes and think that everything is going to be just fine. That might be me. That's you. <laughs> Maybe I just think it's still going to be fine. Like, Even when your partner seems upset with you. Oh, okay, okay. No, maybe not. But I'm quick. Mm. I'm kind of quick to just be like, yeah. I, so, okay. like, that would be something like she has an issue, but you're like, there ain't no issue. Well, it depends on what it is now. <laughs> well, I agree. It depends are, on what it is. There are some issues. There are some really things issues. I'm not, I'm not negotiating. My masculinity, I'm not negotiating. No, we're not doing it. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh my God. You can leave. You can do whatever you want to do. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. That's fair to say, right? Yeah. It's not, I'm not gonna do that. That's that. That's but I fair. think when a man takes a stand like that mm-hmm. and don't do a lot of tongue wrestling, yeah. Okay, nah, I ain't doing that. I yeah. think they handle you differently. Mm-hmm. Well, they definitely deal with you and see you totally different way. Yeah, because I think. Very few men go about things that way. Yeah, but I think the way to go about that thing is you have to do all the other little things. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't be the person who sweeps the trash in a corner or sweeps it under the rug. You mm-hmm. got to yeah. be the person that gets a, d- a dustpan and gets a piece of paper. And clean it up. And be it up. real thorough. Yeah. Because if you don't, women are like pariahs in this sense. They will pick you apart. <laughs> and I only know because I only date women, so yeah, uh, maybe right. somebody else don't do that, or maybe vice versa. <laughs> I don't know, but sometimes a woman to see blood and go after water. You. Oh, she's not gonna stop, especially if she don't have a whole lot to get you on. Hard and heavy. Yeah, yeah. So, what's the other defense mechanism? Uh, compensation. Uh, you turn to alcohol or drugs instead of confronting your own negative emotions. Wow. Uh, it, it's easier to have an extra glass of wine or beer rather than talk to your partner about what's really bothering you. That is me. That's you? Yeah. What kind of wine? You like a little white Zinfandel? No, I'm a beer drinker. <laughs> some, of that, some of that Stella Rosa up there? Well, no. no. Nisa, she like beer. What you like, Budweiser? No, I don't Bud like light. She look like a Bud Light girl. Eh, I can't. I can go for it. I told you. I can go for it. I'm more of a Heineken girl. Heineken? Dose, ooh, okay. Heineken. That's high dollar. All right, now. <laughs> Import it. Import it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, we need, we need to keep some over here on the <laughs> Wow. So you rather just not deal with it? Yeah, just forget about it. It. Why? Because you think it's too much to address? Um. Or? And just like I'm not an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Let me nobody, go ahead and just dis- put that disclaimer out okay. there for our listeners. Okay. But um, but yeah, I have come to like you know uh, I'm gonna go out and have a few drinks because I don't want to deal with this right now. Um, and it is because I don't want to fuss. Well, what does that mean? I don't want to fuss. What's something you need to fuss about? Oh, well, I think a lot that's- of times when it comes to women. It's like, oh, you're fussing too much. Well, I think that's a defense mechanism. Oh, I don't want to fuss. I'm not fussing. You need no, to get up not, and do this. It, and sometimes it goes into... <laughs> All you got to do is move. It comes into like, oh, I've been fussing too much. I've been talking too much. Maybe I just need to... Like, maybe it's me. Maybe you need to do something. Oh, yeah. Instead of going to get a beer. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who buying you beers? Because you say you got financial problems. Who buying you beers? Who buy, who's buying this beer? Then I swear oh, I a know. woman never has to take her purse to the well, bar. That's, part of, that's why the... Yeah, you know, if I'm coming by, <laughs> oh, oh, you buying? Be- he buying you beers? Yourself not gonna get this, but Wallace, he gotta go. So Martin, like he gotta, you gotta go, Wallace. Like, no, I don't know what's going on here. Bar got to stop. Bar closed. No bar. Bar rescue. <laughs> it's over. Like I'm not dealing with that. Give us another one, you sir. All right, daydreaming. Uh, you fantasize. That's a defense mechanism. Yeah. Okay. You fantasize that all of your problems and challenges will simply disappear with no you, work. You rather escape into your own world where everything is perfect, rather than step into the real and flawed life that you and your partner share. You think people come into relationships with that? Yeah. Like they've always been. They've, they, they've just been like that. That would be someone. That, that person would be bringing that baggage with them. For, because it seems like that'll be that person would always do that in relationships. And you can lose years like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah you can. Time just flies by because you're seeing your relationship through rose colored glasses. Mm-hmm. And it's not 
that at all. You know, like it could be really bad. Um, and you're just sticking around because you see what your perception of your relationship is, is totally different than the reality. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Did I, what? So Nick, nah, you kind of, you bodied that little last part, but it was good. <laughs> it was good. What, what's the next one? You have another uh, one? Yeah, yeah. Last one, number five, grandiosity. Okay, well, give us an example uh, of that. You see yourself as more important than your partner. You consistently expect to be admired while at the same time not acknowledging your partner's accomplishments. Okay, but it you is, shouldn't believe you're... It's hard for you to give credit when your partner's right. It's all about you. It's all about... Okay, what about the first part? You're not supposed to care about you more than them? Um, you see yourself... You see yourself as more important than your partner. Shouldn't you see yourself as more important than anything? Yeah, but you still got to collaborate. Still have to be with someone. Oh, it's not do? meaning that, not that you're more important like that, but you're more like everything you do is more important than what they do. What oh, they, okay. Like, it's yeah. irrelevant. They're yeah, irrelevant. They're irrelevant. They're so irrelevant. Don't want to change none. And do nothing. I okay. say nothing. Okay. I'm not going there. I'm asking. I'm asking. So if you <laughs> the think, way he looks at you, think, I'm asking. Yeah, because you know this is the person that's around you the most. So I'm trying you to know, learn. I'm, I'm just trying saying. to learn. If you this is you not, threw that this shot is, out this there. This is not me. I'm, I'm not saying it's you. No, I'm, <laughs> saying, I'm just looking asking. At you like that, if you though. don't, you look at me. No, you look at me. No, you looked at you. Tried to look at me. You gave me the no. I turned my head because that's the person you be around most when you threw that shot. I was how. How, what? How? Explain that to me. How is that you? No, I didn't say it's me. I'm asking you, is that you? No. Are you sure? Yes. That's not you. No. Then why did you say something? Mm. I said it's not me. But nobody said it was you. We no, because y'all were making... going to do grandma quotes? You were, <laughs> you were passing innuendo. I'm saying, no. no My grandma were, told me. No, you, you throw no, a rock. No, we, we were not. If you throw a rock in a pack of dogs and one we bar, were, he's the one that got we hit. Were not, we will not talk about Constance <laughs> today, okay? Let's, that's, not, <laughs> that's not a good down south analogy? Uh, no, okay. and Constance wasn't from down south. So. No, I was talking my grandma, Nancy. Okay. <laughs> He's yeah. talking about his grandma, not yours. Grandma. Okay. I don't know your grandma. <laughs> okay. Disrespectful talk about another man's grandma you don't even know of. Yeah, man. I just yeah, don't you, know. You probably should have kicked me if you thought that was. Yeah, it was. All right, come on, man. You talking about grandma. Yeah, man. You went too far. <laughs> <laughs> you're, going too, was, you're gone too far. Yeah, you're going too far now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's not. But you can't find yourself more important? You can find yourself more important, but you still have to. I think if you, you give what you want. I mean, you, whatever you put in, you're going to receive. So okay. if you, if you're supporting this person, you're there for this person, you're cheering this person on. Mm-hmm. In return, that's what they're going to give to you. Well, that's what they're it supposed should. to give to you. But you can't expect that if you're not giving that. Okay. Okay. And sometimes people do that because they want to feel so important. They want to feel important. Yeah, and making so that somebody person else- doesn't feel important in the end time. No. Exactly. No. Wow. So they have to basically make everything else irrelevant. Well, what you're doing question. is irrelevant. Why are we so afraid to be vulnerable? I'm not. Hey, CL. You sure? I'm positive. Nick, sometimes you got to just say, I am. <laughs> what? I am. I am vulnerable. I am vulnerable. I am vulnerable. Well, let's do, let's do this. Okay. Let's talk about vulner, uh, vulnerability Okay. on the other side of this commercial. So I opened myself right open for that. Yeah, you left yourself okay. right open for that one. Right. Yo, I made what up, my fun. people? <laughs> this is JR Glenn from Defy Life. If you're looking for an in depth, honest, at times hilarious conversation on anything from current events to sports to entertainment and more, check out myself, Alvin, Thomas, Gerald, and Yosh on the Defy Life podcast. Dropping every Wednesday, available at GoDefyLife.com and everywhere your favorite podcasts are available. And as always, if you're not rocking with Defy Life, what's your life about? Okay, we back at it. Back at it. Back, back at it. Back, we gonna, back, let's back. talk about this vulnerability. 
Let's talk about it. I'm going to keep saying the word till it sound right to me. Till it sound right? Yeah, it sound like I'm saying it wrong every time. It's vulnerability. So I'm not even going to try it. I can barely talk now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. okay. That's one of those words. That's like, you know what? I ain't going to try it. Not on school? air. Like, just like. Yeah, mm. I ain't going to play with it. Well, okay, wow. So, so no, no loud reading in class? <laughs> oh! I'm asking. <laughs> I'm asking a question. You know what? Let me tell you, let me tell you a secret about me. Okay. I avoided reading aloud in class. And I think I'm a pretty good reader until 12th grade. <laughs> Challenge I, success, you, huh? I successively navigated through 11th grade. Never had to read out aloud in class. <laughs> Never. I don't know how I did it. You know what I used to do? What's that? Read a part. If it came to a word that I knew I couldn't pronounce very well, mm-hmm. I would just, can I go to the bathroom? So Dude, while over. you was reading? No. Oh. While I knew it was getting close to me. Oh. So oh. it was skip oh, over like me. In front of you. Okay. And then when I came in, okay, when I come back, I It's going to be in a good spot. Yeah. Wow. Wow, neat. Wow. Hmm. I, I can't help it. You I have can. a list and I have a speech impediment. So Do you? Yeah, I do. I didn't know that. Yeah. And you're Afro Latino. Yeah. Wow. I'm learning you more about it. you all the time, me. <laughs> hey. What? He's Haitian, black, Latino. No, not, no, 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 I'm no, 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 you can't be Afro Latino and Haitian now. I can't help that. No, you can't. You can't be everything. You said, what are you? No, um, my, my father's from Panama. My mother's from Trinidad. That's it. So you're a mad American? What are you? What is that? Uh, Pan- Panamanian. Panamanian. Trin- I'm Pan- half Panamanian and half Trinidadian. And you're Afro Latino. I mean, you hey, won't let me be. Yeah, base. Well, no, no, no. You gotta my, be Afro Latino. My father, Afro, my father Afro, was Haitian. Hey, 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 take this podcast to the next level. We gotta have, represent all diversity. <laughs> Nobody, don't, none of y'all don't want to be gay. Yeah, no. So you Afro or Latino? Panamanian and Trinidadian. Panamanian. Okay, there you go. All right, I'm race Pathian. Race Pathian. Yes. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Race Pathian. What is that? I'll explain it to you a different time, but I am 100% Race Pathian. I have no clue what that is. I'm out of Google that. Yes, <laughs> yes. But go ahead. Yes, that's I, what I am. <laughs> no, explain it later. The house that CL made? No, but no, go no, 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 no. I'm, Basically. I'm, I'm actually from House Randall. House Randall? House Randall. Okay. Yes. But that's a whole, it's a whole, it's whole different. Whole, whole part of the CL yeah, experience? Yeah, whole, yes, yes, yes. It absolutely is. Now, to be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. You have to be. You don't have to be emotionally wounded. Can't we just say what we want? Like sometimes the man say, "I listen. I don't. I don't want to go downstairs and get you a glass of water." I've been told that before. I don't like to hear no, but you know. Well, well, how are you going to be vulnerable? <laughs> don't you think you're going to be independent? <laughs> Aren't you just independent? You're going to the club. Hold on, hold on. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay for them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But no, no, nobody wants I to mean, hear what's no. What's acceptable? Because sometimes I try to tell people my feelings and what I have, and they just like gloss over them. Like that ain't no problem. I don't like that. Oh my! I get that a lot. Really? Somebody, somebody. What are you complaining about? It's nothing. Yeah. Like what? Yeah, I've, I've been. Somebody else out there has it worse than you do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we all got those problems. Yeah. Like well, I don't well you should have brought yours up. <laughs> I'm bringing mine. <laughs> I'm telling you about mine today. Yeah, I believe when people don't know how to understand other people's problems, mm-hmm. that's a mess for themselves because they're probably going through it as well, and it they probably- don't want to be reminded of it. Oh wow! Mm. Yeah, you could be you could be a thousand percent right, Nick. I mean, because if I'm going through money issues, relationship issues, or anything like that. I probably don't want to hear about yours. So you'll be upset with someone else who they want to tell you about their great relationship. You'll be like, girl, everybody got that issue. <laughs> <laughs> men, okay. ain't, men ain't ish. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. It, are you um kind of ostracized for having a good relationship? You so? Hmm? Does that happen amongst men? Like, no, I want to hear about your girl. Nah, I don't think it really. I don't, and, and I don't. Or think guys so. don't really talk like guys, that. Guys don't really like my girl. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. well, amongst my friends, like they don't really talk about their women. So like you're not that. being vulnerable around. No, they just gentleman. don't talk about. They just don't talk about. We just don't. That's not a bring up. Their, <laughs> just don't bring up their relationship. 
their marriages, the majority of them are married. Okay. And then the ones that are in relationships, like, if they got a problem, maybe it'll be a little something. But no group problems. You no, might hear no one person. Group. Yeah, you might hear, like, it ain't no, oh, man, my girl this, my girl that, like, a whole bunch of, it's usually, yeah. and it'd have to be something major. I don't discuss my relationship issues. Or oh, wow. Anything. Women always think somebody want their man. No, it's not even that. It's just, when I forgive him, they're not. Yeah, that's so, supposed to be your friend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's my friend's not supposed to forgive you. you but I don't. And then also, like, but if you tell your friends to stand down because y'all okay, it's, they're, they're still going to be in their feelings. They should be, but they got to be quiet in their feelings. Mm, no, no. And then I don't want someone trying to coach me in my relationship and influence me in a negative way. So. When I'm mad, we don't need mad, coaching. No, when you're mad, and then somebody else is already negative, and they're like, "Oh, you should leave him." Well, that's why. You, that's why that. you go to your bad friend <laughs> when you want support. Like, I wanted to go sell some drugs. I'm like, yeah, to. forget him. Let's let's go out. Go yeah, put on a nice dress. Yeah. Let's go get some beers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Put on your freakum dress. Yeah, no, not always. That's that's not always. Like, no. Sometimes you just have to learn how to. Get through things with you and him, okay, or you can, and her. Okay. Can we all admit an area we, we need to be uh, more vulnerable in? No, um, <clears throat> we don't have to. I'm not uh, prepared. An area. Hmm. Oh, I'm waiting to hear this for from you, sir. Yeah. I'll go. I think I can go first. Oh, go, ahead. go ahead, and then uh, um, maybe come back to me. I sometimes I have a problem when I can't fix it. I need to say, listen, I can't do it. Sometimes I can. Sometimes I can't do it. Okay. Yeah. Like, I, I'm... Sometimes you can take on too much. And you hate when you can't fix everything. Well, I'm talking about in relationship to a woman. Okay. Um, Maybe you just need to be a superhero and not a super, superhero. So you hate when you're not able to change someone? Not change, but well, even better help. them. Even help. I'll say better. Oh no, we getting better. We breaking <laughs> up. I'm telling you that now. But are you sad because you're not able to? Sometimes no, no. I, I mean help. I mean help. Not help them. Yeah. I, I just think naturally, mm-hmm. if you're around, like if you're a very poor student, mm-hmm. and you go to, you get the best three teachers and put them in a class with ten students. Mm-hmm. Those teachers should be able to overcome those 10 students because they're better at it. And what I mean by that is once you're in that environment Mm -hmm. and you have the teacher who can adjust, okay, well, he's learning here. Let me adjust to him. Mm -hmm. Let me adjust to her. Mm -hmm. They should be able to bring you up some. You may not ever be a genius, but they should be able to bring you up. So I agree with me in my situations. You're only going to be a certain level down with me or you're not going to be around me at all. Mm. And that isn't. I, don't, I think that's what you should do with people, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you got to come up because I'm not going backwards. Makes so sense. if you just negative Nancy, you are like, well. <laughs> you can go ahead and have that. You can sell together. <laughs> you can go ahead and have that. Yeah, we get money over here. We ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we we, <laughs> we going to act like it's all right, even if it's not all right. Um, I think I am overly independent. Overly independent. Mm-hmm. So you need to be more vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And letting a man... When he wants to do something. But don't you think you would do that if you met the right guy? So yeah. what are you holding on to? I mean, I didn't say I was currently doing that. I was just saying. I didn't I say currently. Just whenever you were holding. <clears throat> you was holding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You was holding. He was holding. You know? Oh, yeah. Really wild. <laughs> yeah, he was on the block, you know? <laughs> hand in hand. Neek from the block. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah. Maybe you didn't trust that individual? No, I think it was mostly just being raised to... Be independent, not to um, depend on a man. But you let men buy you drinks, so you not completely independent. <laughs> but you know what? When a man buys me a drink, I buy my next drink, and I might buy me and my home. The more drink. lies Nick tells. Oh no! Like seriously, <laughs> and you says, know what's so I got crazy? the next round again. You're not gonna be like, no, I'm buying. Yep, um, I sure do. And I, and my friends are like that too. And, and I and like I noticed that like I, I want to say on my birthday. And you're five six. <laughs> I am four nine and three quarters. <laughs> like it's no way, Nick. It leaves the three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Nick. I don't believe you. But um, 
I, I don't know what it is, but I remember like a guy sending drinks to us and was like, oh, thank you. You know, it's her birthday. Da, da. And my friend was like, yes, can we all have a shot of Hennessy? And yeah. she was like, I can't let him get one up on me. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I and, and like, I don't know what it is, but I am the same way. Like, oh, I don't know. You're okay. not going to come over here and just buy all his drinks. So like, you can the, just pay for the, all of us. After I just gave you my vulnerability. <laughs> Your vulnerability is about drinks. <laughs> no, even oh, okay. <laughs> you just the- really dug into my soul. You were telling me about drinks. You got to dig deep. Okay, I. I mean, that's not overly independent. Shoot. You just bought a drink. No, no, it's not just a drink. I, I've paid for all my friends to go somewhere. You trust men, huh? You trust men. Yeah. Okay. Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I selective a, though I tried to have a deep follow up But I didn't have one yeah. No <laughs> I, I, I trust men I just I'm very selective Oh with what? With men With certain I trust certain men There's certain men I don't trust Because What will of, make you not trust a man? Um I don't trust a cheap man What do you mean cheap? You mean, don't want him to lead with money And you, <laughs> you don't want him to be cheap No don't, You ain't gotta lead with money But if you see me struggling Help me but what if his help comes with advice? That's okay. It's supposed to. It's supposed to teach me. But you got to want to learn. You got to come to class. You can't go to sleep in class and go to the bathroom when it's time to read. You got to be there. Yeah. You got to that be is there. true. Yeah, because a lot of women say they want help. And then they don't. Like, oh. that's what's, I'm oh, overly independent. No. Like, no, I don't want that. Because I'm telling you, you're not going to buy me. My help is funny. you going to listen. <laughs> we gonna, if I do this, you're going to listen to what I say. Now, you can do what you want with what with the information, mm-hmm. but you're not going to take it and then be like, I'm good. No, no. You got to get that back. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have that back because I don't like how this is going down. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. You, you, sir? I need to be more. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see you. Uh, I'm trying to work. I'm trying to. Give us your testimony, Take brother. Correct Take your time. Verbiage. Take your time. I wish I had some slow, soft music in the background. <laughs> Take your time, man. I need to probably okay care more okay about other people's feelings. So why you have this wall up? Nobody cares about you. I don't think I have a wall up. I just feel like it's oh. I need to be more vulnerable. Feelings wise Feelings wise Well Towards a Towards the other Like I think that I do a good job of Is this towards people you dating? Yeah Yeah Why? I don't know I, think, I said that previously I, In another me, But I think he's being an imposter I'm not being an imposter Listen I'm gonna oh, tell you how I think He got defensive <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how I think you being an imposter I'm not being an imposter How okay. am I being Not cause you're a good father You're a good friend But when it comes to women It seems intentional You get Yeah Like you Like you want to I'm not sabotage give you this it. part of me. Like even down to the four for four. What you like want I'm love? not going to spend that much. I'm not gonna spend nothing on you right now. No, for what? Even though he got the money. Yeah. And he won't spend the money. No. Mm-mm. Why? Because you gotta like you believe in struggle love. What you mean struggle love? What struggle love? Why well, I gotta be such an uphill climb <laughs> to just get along with a woman? Like I don't understand. Just get there. Cause I think like when you when you're dating phone? somebody, you like you need somebody you can share moments with, and you need companionship. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I don't want to talk to no dudes, but I don't talk to a lot of dudes. I'm not saying you said don't be putting him out there. No, no, like no, that. no, I'm not saying you. No, no, I'm no. Just, I'm just saying. I said me. Yeah. I said me. I don't want to always talk to dudes, even about nothing. And the young lady probably knows nothing about what I'm talking about at all. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't. Sometimes you just don't want to talk to your man. Neek, neek. Yeah. I, I mean, not you Not me <laughs> We good over here Sometimes, sometimes I don't want to talk to my man Sometimes you want to just talk to your man Oh yeah like, Definitely even if, even if it's about nothing Yeah You want to just talk to him it, Yeah Get off so work and be like So if I'm always like, oh, beefing with you How can I But I'm not always that, That's the thing I just I don't feel like I'm always beefing I just feel like I need to be more Well you're not always beefing That don't mean she ain't beefing You probably don't care no, I don't, Sometimes I don't even know uh, I'd be in trouble and don't even know. I just be talking. And <laughs> I'm mad. What was you gonna tell me? I could have been went home. <laughs> like I no, you can't leave. Oh God! Take now, leave. now you a hostage. Yeah, I'm a hostage. I didn't even know. Oh, you can leave. Yeah, yeah just yeah. ain't the keys. Yeah, 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 you can leave at your own risk. At your own risk. <laughs> at your own risk, you can leave. 
You think it's but okay that to is leave. a very good question of you know why <laughs> does your compassion leave you when it comes to women you date? Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't feel like you deserve to be loved. Because sometimes I don't feel like I deserve that, to be that helped. Ain't that ain't it. That's not it. Mm-mm. Well, I don't. Sometimes I don't feel like I deserve to be helped. Like mm-hmm. you need to figure this out. Don't ask nobody. Figure it out. Yeah, I, I do feel that. Yeah, because I, like well, I mean, I grew up like that. Like, a, like, like just like, figure it out. Yeah, yeah, like I think of my parents. I was probably the most independent child, mm-hmm. so they always thought I could figure it out. Sometimes I could. Yeah, that was me too. <laughs> Sometimes I just. I'm, I'm the one that's like, you know, I don't get the help. I get the okay. So what you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do? I can't help you. Yeah, I'm. I'm no, I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what not you like gonna that. Do? I'm not. Yeah, I'm just not. But I don't know. Mm. Maybe that's part of the imposter like vibe, vibe mm-hmm. syndrome. I mean, I've been an imposter before, so yeah, I think we're all guilty in in some regards. Try not to hold on to it. And um, I think this discussing the subject mm-hmm. has kind of helped everybody. Yeah, Definitely, because like, we, we, we I I knew less about it before I started. Yeah, yeah. So, is, is there a, another one you said up there? Is there no? Nah, that is that are, was a wrap. That is where we are. That's where we are. So, uh, see, yes, what sir. did you learn today? Um, I learned that I'm gonna practice being a little more vulnerable. As well as saying the word this week. Okay. From here to the mm-hmm. end of the year. And I hope to have some stories to share with you all. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Just remind me what I am. Neek, what did you learn today? Um, I learned today to put down my wall and stop being so independent. Mm-hmm. Mm. Deep. Got to find the right person, though. Don't, don't, yeah. don't let down your walls to everybody. Yeah. Or yeah. any. Body. Thing, yeah, anybody. <laughs> yes, uh, I learned that Nick used to go to the bathroom when it was come time to read. Hmm. So he's again avoiding. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. No. We're gonna be back here discuss it again. So. It's gonna run. come up again. Yeah, you gonna run, but can't hide. Nah. But thank you all for listening and joining on this episode. It's your girl, Nick Cruz. C.L. Butler. And your boy, Yousef. Once again, make sure that you can catch us. Make sure that you catch us on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and of course, TheFileLifePods.com. And anywhere your favorite podcasts are played. If you would like to leave us a comment or dare Nick, email us at RSP at GoToFileLife.com. That's RSP at GoToFileLife.com. Or hit us on our hotline, 843 310 Eight six three seven. Make sure to follow us on all social media platforms at R E L S T A T podcast. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and five star rate. Also, give us a review. It is Neek, C L, and Yousef relationship status, and we are out. Yo, the summertime is winding down, so it's time to go ahead and get that fall wardrobe together. Check out the new fall line from Defy Life Gear. It's got all new designs, jackets, socks, and you got to check out the brand new alternate logo. We also got sweatshirts for all the podcast gear you love so much. So go ahead and visit www.defylifegear.com. That's www.defylifegear.com to get your gear today and remember defy life lifestyle defiant it's defylifegear.com <laughs>